Growing up in the woods, I can confirm you definitely don't want to be there at night. You definitely don't want to be alone. Creepy things happen in the woods. And these videos I'm about to show you is proof of that. Let me know what you do in these situations. Comment down below. So let's go. Most disturbing forest encounters caught on tape. It gets in pretty April scary. Of 2020, a kid named Noah decided to go truck camping in the forests of Sun River, Oregon. He was driving down the road when he thought he found a good spot and drove deep into the forest with his truck. His first night there, he was woken up to sounds outside. Before we get into that, truck camping is actually pretty fun. I mean, you don't really want to be alone at night in the woods, but at least you have that metal canopy to keep you safe. Unlike a tent that is very easily breakable. As he continued listening, he realized they were footprints and from the pattern assumed it was a person. He grabbed his nearby GoPro and started filming. I'm currently sleeping in the back of my truck right now. I don't even know what time it is. And there's someone walking around my Ooh, truck. I wonder if it's an animal. I hear more of a hopping noise. For like 20 minutes already. I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now. It's making, like, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it's making the sound kind of like the grudge that. Uh, 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 I don't know if it's that doing that or, or if it's his phone or whatever, but it sounds pretty creepy. And it's like pitch black outside. And like, this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where you couldn't see. No one was on that road. Which he's touching my truck. Oh, oh! You guys see that? Those eyes right there. Zoom in on that. Mm. Right there. Those are eyes. They have to be. How am I supposed to get him away? He's literally, he's literally walking. That's scary. Are you going to keep talking? Because if you keep talking, you're going to find out someone's so in there. Right now. He's literally peeking through the door right now. Whoever was out there knocks on the truck and tries the door there handles, it is again. all while Noah sits inside, forced to just listen to it happen. That's Fortunately, scary. he had his doors locked, so no one could get inside. After multiple minutes, footsteps are finally heard leaving. When it got light outside, Noah drove back to the road and back home. See the damage. Later that morning, he found handprints all over his truck, specifically on his back window from someone trying to see inside, and a lot on his door handles from someone trying to get inside. Um, yeah. handprints there, a lot of scratches, stuff like that. Um, uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck. Uh, well, it looks like to be trying to get inside my truck. Obviously. Um, that's really all I could tell from when he was walking around. More handprints trying to get in my truck. Um, at least the back canopy was locked, but um, yeah, that was the result. It looked like something more that was kind of hunting. Um, it didn't look very intelligible because the way that it was trying to open the, the truck doors was from the creases where the door, you know, like shuts instead of actually using the handle and stuff. So that's scary. That's creepy. I don't know what that could have been. Maybe it was the rake. I don't know. So for someone to even have been out there in the first place at that time of night is extremely odd. And it couldn't have been a police officer or anything because no one identified themselves. The person didn't even have a light. And this was in the middle of a pitch black forest. No one ever posted an update on the situation, suggesting that he never found out who was outside his truck that night. Kyle Burgess was on an early morning jog on a trail in Provo, Utah, when he thought he saw a baby bobcat on the trail up ahead oh, of him. Baby bobcat. He immediately pulled out his phone and started recording. But it wasn't a bobcat, rather, it was a baby cougar. It looks like it, yeah. Video then shows the mother oh. coming into view. That's a situation you don't want to be in. Oh. 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 
You, 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 you. Oh, oh he's Oh. 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 No! Get the f away! He's smart. You definitely don't want to turn your back on something like that because that's whenever they will jump on you. Uh, definitely, you, in most of those scenarios, you want to back away slowly and uh, make sure that you're you're kind of like establishing dominance that you're not scared of them because animals can sense when you're scared and then they will attack you. Uh, she's just probably more concerned for her cubs than anything or he would probably already be dead. Get the go away! Go! 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 No! No! Go away! Go away! Please go away! Oh! Holy! Nice and slow. Come on! I don't know if they're called ah! or kittens, to be honest. Probably just, we'll just go kittens. No! Kyle is left in a standoff with the cougar as he slowly backs away, trying to scare it off with loud noises. But the cougar continues to follow him, and at times even lunges at him. At one point, Kyle turns his head away from the animal so as not to trip as he's backing up. This prompts the cougar to try and attack, mm -hmm. getting within See? only feet of him. That's exactly what I said. Go away. You want to keep your eyes on that thing at all times. No, you taste, dude. I'm trying to attack and your eyes are looking away from you. Dude. No, go away! Go away! No! No! That'd be scary. Yeah, get away from me. There Please. you go. You're in the clear now. The encounter lasts for an entire six minutes. Dang. It ends when Kyle throws a large rock, scaring the animal into running away. Cougar encounters with hikers are extremely dangerous and can mm -hmm. often result in a much worse outcome. Had Kyle tried to run or failed to look and sound intimidating, the animal's instincts to chase and commit to an attack would have kicked in. That's definitely a scary situation. A uh, situation you don't want to be in. But he did exactly the right thing. You always just want to back up slowly. Keep your eyes on the animal. And, and it sounds somewhat intimidating. And uh, you might make it out alive. Like he did. So good on you. For knowing exactly what to do. In February of 2013. A few residents of a neighborhood in northern Oregon. Filed reports of strange noises coming from the forest. Ooh. Is it skinwalkers? The were described as what sounded like eerie laughter. Oh it might it be skinwalkers. loud and echoed throughout the nearby area. One of the residents that heard the sounds went outside to where they seemed to be coming from and started recording. Oh, that's eerie. It's either skinwalkers or those whenever that whole crazy clown thing was happening. That's what I'm guessing it is. It's either that or someone practicing their villain laugh. Trying to be the Joker and shit. <laughs> Still very scary though. Some think the noises are being made by foxes or coyotes. But others don't think so. No. Saying coyotes, for example, have a much more canine like shriek mm -hmm. and aren't nearly as loud. It's still unclear what exactly was making the noise that night. Try skinwalkers. You don't want to mess with Lisa is a girl who owns a YouTube channel where she documents her life living in a van. Okay. She travels across North America recording her experience as she goes. The videos almost always follow more of a vlog style, mm -hmm. showing the different forests or places she stays at overnight. But she doesn't make more content. Yeah. 
However, in February of 2022, something different was uploaded. Lisa was sleeping in her van when she woke up to the sound of knocking right next to her ear. It was 4.30 in the morning and someone was outside. Ooh. She sat there frozen, not knowing what to do. The knock then came again and this time she uttered out a confused hello. There was no response. It would be completely silent for the next 15 minutes. Eventually she heard footsteps coming back and this time grabbed her camera to record. Let's hear it. Somebody's back here again. Ooh, that's not good. I hear footprints. Hello? Hello? Oh. How can I help you? It's 4.30 in the morning. I don't feel safe. Who are you? There was no response. That she quietly got up and went to the front of her van to look outside. In the distance, there were headlights. The car backs away, and so she turns the camera to herself and begins explaining what just happened. That's creepy. A few minutes into this, and she hears footsteps again. I hear footprints. Again? Yeah, somebody was just here again three times now. The third time I looked out, they were walking on foot. I seen them walking and they hid behind the, the uh, tree there. And then they went to um, a car, the same car that was here earlier. Well, that was back and then it backed away and left again three times in one night. This time, um, they didn't knock though. They were just walking around. I could hear them walking around the van. That's very strange. When it got very, very outside strange. later that morning, she got out of her van and found footprints all around it. So I come out this morning and you can see footprints. Look at this one. This is mine. I'll show you. There's mine. Yeah. See? They were actually... There's some more. Look at that. They came here. They were standing here, as you can see. A lot of viewers believe the man was simply trying to steal valuables from the van. But why then come back two more times after you heard someone talking from inside? I don't think they'd be stealing valuables from the van. I mean, if they wanted to steal something being out in a remote area like that, they wouldn't even care if she was in there. It's likely the man had worse intentions. This video was taken by a mountain biker in Vancouver, Canada. He had set up his phone camera to get a shot of him riding down a part of the mountain. That was a nice Just jump. as he comes down and passes the camera, he suddenly hits the brakes and starts calling out. He then comes back in the frame, walking back up the mountain with his bike. As he does so, he keeps looking back behind him. Blocking his path was a bear, who was now following him. Oh, ho, ho. that's worse than a cougar. Hey, hey. Hey. Right. Is the bear looking at him? Hey! Oh, I hear. Oh, hey. there it is. That's a black bear too. That's not hey. good. Hey! A smaller bear though. Hey! Hey! The kid uses his bike to make himself look bigger. He hits it on the ground a few times, causing the bear to retreat back to the camera, where it knocks it over. The bear then stands over the camera for a while longer. Finally, it retreats completely, allowing the kid to retrieve his phone and get back to safety. He got lucky. He got very lucky. Um, it looks like the bear wasn't hungry. He was just more curious than anything. Or maybe he's camera shy. Why he knocked the camera down. And then ran away. On September 6, 2016, a Reddit post was made linking to a video that claimed to feature a weird noise from the woods. Included was text that read, I put the kids to bed tonight and heard this loud, really bizarre sound coming from the woods outside my house. It lasted about 15 to 20 minutes. We have a handful of neighbors nearby, but this was too loud to be coming from them. It seemed to be coming from the direction of a nearby AM radio tower, but can those towers make noises like this? I googled around but couldn't find anything similar. This is the video.
That's very eerie. Commenters immediately started speculating what the sound could have been. It sounded like really bad music. Like really, really bad music. One of them suggested it could have been the sound of high winds passing through a nearby cell tower, no. the metal on metal being what created the eerie tone. But the poster replied saying there was almost no wind that night, and even on days when it was windy, he never heard this sound. Another said the sound was extremely consistent with what it sounds like to drill into a strut or support that's made of high carbon steel but said that it would be weird to be doing this that late into the night. Yeah, kinda. To That'd this day, weird. it's still unknown what the sound in the video actually is. Well, there you go, everyone. Those are videos on why you shouldn't be alone out in the woods. Got this video from Chilling Scares. His YouTube channel is in the link in the description below. If you guys did like the content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below as well. Stay casual, and I'm out.